Grayson's restart. A lovely ball for the Northampton forwards to uh, lay back. He for has hoofed it miles up again. With this big stand of Hart, who certainly can thump it. Well, he scored 34 points in this series as well. Good for England A last season. Now then, which of those two sides can pull out the winner? Because the next score you would think would be the winner. Ogara taken very nicely there by Holland. That's up halfway. Stringer once again. And the ball slippery, knocked forward. Northampton will get the foot in, they'll be delighted. There's only one place he for should put this. Is in the right hand corner, about wait, ten yards wait, from the, the Munster try line. You know, we're in the 80 minutes are up, he's got to put it in the deepest right hand corner. <laughs> Pick up and drive by ball, McKinnon. Okay. Yes, the big boys taking it further. But Lamb waits for it now. He goes uh, another yard or so. But the ball was pinched. Very good bit of work, I think, by Anthony Foley. And a penalty it is. And taken very quickly by Stringer. That's Halvey taking it on. Almost up to halfway. That's why the boss have gone in the corner, you know, they've got the last opportunity near the halfway line, they're put in the scrum. They've got to give good ball to Stringer. The Munster front row have got to hold and give Stringer good ball. Stringer who has such quick hands. Ogara. He's out there to Holland. No way through. They, they, they need something special like the forwards to take it first of all however there's Wood and he certainly is special Craig Moyer was in first with the uh, with the tackle Stringer once again Ogara that's a long hoof by Trotty the ball's still in play Grayson going back and Grayson made sure of his touch he did well Paul Grayson, who uh, played against Newcastle at full back on Sunday, and I thought made a very good fist of it. He was a, such a vastly experienced player, 28, 23 caps for England. The one, the one advantage that he has is that he's, he can kick off either foot in that position. He'd have to readjust and put his, the ball onto his right foot. I think what they have to do now is, is drive from the line up, go centre field, and try and get a position for a guard to have a drop goal, or look for the penalty. That's the only option. I think uh, Crotty has come off like that. So that's Dominic Crotty going off the field. Okay, and uh, right. Killian Keane has come on as replacement. So it's going to be very interesting indeed to see who will be at fullback. That's Killian Keane right enough. And uh, he's another fella who has international experience, although just the one cap as a replacement against England in 98. The Red Horse warming forward. Ogara. Ogara challenged by his opposite number, Hefer, that slipped and fell. Stringer. Well, that was a long explanation. <laughs> Did it come off the uh, stringer's foot? That's what they were asking. Well, there we are. It's, uh, it's taking a while, but then you raise the French referee, Joe Dumier. He's done very well during this game. He's very clear in his instructions. Back Lamb's feed. That goes uh, right out on the field. The referee's whistle goes for the end of the match. They've actually played four and a half minutes of uh, injury time. And so Munster have been thwarted. Northampton have won at last and well you can see how thrilled they are and uh, I suppose in the end you could say Munster Jonathan scored the only try but then the boot didn't. It's a magnificent result for Northampton they've had a tremendous season they have been the form side in 
in Britain maybe, and it's certainly deserved. It's nice to see them. They've had a disastrous six weeks. Now they've qualified for Europe, you know, in Newcastle, and now they've just capped it all by just by winning the European Cup. And Pat Lamb has been superb. You know, he's been the catalyst for Northampton going forward in this afternoon, and certainly deserving a, and a magnificent cap into a, a magnificent season by Northampton. And you know, what a day for Pat Lamb. Imagine, captain of Samoa in the World Cup, his wife Stephanie provides their fourth child just recently and voted Player of the Year by the players. Can you get it any better than that? And now, the great moment for Pat Lamb, who's uh, been one of the outstanding forwards in world rugby for a long time, formerly of New Zealand and uh, born in Auckland, uh, but there, captain of Northampton, in what is an historic day for them because they've been so close to success this season and in the past never quite made it they wanted to win today already last week they had ensured uh, themselves of European rugby next season when they beat Newcastle and now they've achieved a tremendous uh, performance a great performance Jonathan because after all Munster did score the only try it was a funny uh, kind of game because uh I felt Northampton with a with a dominant side in the first half, and maybe should you know should have scored more. And the second half, Munster with the dominant side, and they should have maybe won the game in the second half. But you know they didn't take the penalties, went for the tries, and it's one thing that's kept Northampton going this season has been their defence. The defence have been absolutely awesome, and it kept them in the game in the second half. And yet, Jonathan, the Munster forwards took some credit, didn't they? Yeah, they did, you know, look at him now, they're all, it's intense, and Bruno Gara there, I think he looks as if he's crying, it is a, a, it is a very, very disappointing thing to lose in the final, but it's been a tremendous season for them as well, I know they, they have been uh, the side that Ireland have built a success on, and they'll come again as a province, but at the moment, it's Northampton's day, a tremendous side, you know, and they've had a, a great season. Three penalty goals by Paul Grayson, of course, uh, were the important ones and that takes his total to 57 points in uh, this European Cup which is a tremendous effort by him the Munster players of course going across to salute their uh, great supporters as the Northampton fellows congratulate themselves as they've every right to do but away down on the right hand side the Munster players going over to say I suppose in a way sorry to their supporters but what an ovation they're getting look at this Keith Wood leading them along there 